Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time. None other than Professional Wrestling's own, Liam Swanson. Shiloh. What's up, my brother? Liam Swanson. Thank you for coming to the show. Thank you for coming to see us. Thank you for having me. This interview is also brought to you by Kickstart. Get your kick now. So, you've been in this business a long time. I have. You are one you are revered as one of the most iconic men in combat sports. And I'm one of the best iconic champions of all. Yes. No as you the last time you were here you interviewed with Scotty B. One of our one of on his show, Tea Time, which is no longer on the air. Sorry, Scotty B. Um <laughs> He's a producer now. He's actually producing this this show right now. Uh, so kudos to uh, Scotty B for transitioning over into the producer side of things. You have won every major title in professional wrestling. Let me get your opinion on AEW's Double or Nothing. What did you think of that event this past weekend? What did you think of John Moxley and? and Cody and Dustin, and what did you think of Double or Nothing? Well, well, basically I thought that match was going to be brutal. I think it was going to be a heck of a bloodbath. Mm -hmm. What about you? What do you think about Double or Nothing? I thought Double or Nothing was... I, well, I didn't see it, Double or Nothing. I caught the highlights afterwards. But, um, you know, y you and I did a show together. Uh, or we do do a show together called uh, uh, Main Event mm -hmm. on Life Song's YouTube channel, which go check that out. But this is a WWE.com exclusive interview with Liam Swanson. Liam, and I'm honored to be the guy to interview because we're so close in, in, in everything that we've done together on the show. But this is a different ty type of interview. This is about This is sorely about you. What has been the best part of your career? What the biggest part of my career has been fighting and putting a lot of opponents down. Throwing a lot of punches recently, and that's what I've been doing. I've been throwing punches. You are, like I said earlier, you are one of revered as one of the most influential men in combat sports. Would you ever transition into MMA or boxing? Me, I would go into MMA because that's when you throw the most punches mm -hmm. and get the most. Would you sign with uh, Dana White? Would you? Wh where would you? Would you go to the UFC and Dana White? Would you go to Golden Boy? Where? Where would you? Where do you see yourself going after life after WWE? Probably. So probably the UFC. It makes it a lot easy because you get more victories in that cage. Probably more in that octagon. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, because you gotta be more physical and you gotta be more careful with that. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Um, have you thought at all about retirement? No, never gotta retire from this business. Well, you know this business is a is a combat sports is a young man's game. Um, yeah, I'm never going to retire from this business. I love this business so much. It's like awesome to me that's the way i felt when 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 my passion for football re resurfaced and and i realized that my career in football is not over um if football is not done with me and i am not done with football but uh, but with you it's different when you're inside the squared circle what do, do you get a sense of feeling of being at home when you're in the ring? I do. And, and when I feel like defending the yard, I feel like defending the yard mm -hmm. against those other competitors who like have it, a grudge against me. And so what I do is I talk aggressive and who wants to go one-one with the big dog? 
Some of your heroes would be Roman Reigns, mm -hmm. Seth Rollins, Seth, Seth Rollins, John Moxley. Um, for me, growing up, it was it was always Cody Rhodes and Kurt Angle. Those were my two favorites growing up. I actually met Cody Rhodes a number of years ago, and so Cody, shout out to you! Congratulations on AEW and all of your success at AEW and well done at Double or Nothing against Dustin. But um, what is next for Liam Swanson? What is next in your career? So what's next in my career? Of like spending time with my kids, taking a break for a little bit, and just showing the support that I need. How is the family doing? Pretty good. They're like... They're growing up fast. Yeah, but... Hippo Langan shows support for them so that I can be there for them and making money. Do they... Do your kids... Um, do they know what daddy does for a living? They do, and they need to realize that I'm going to be on the road for at least two hours before I go back home. And so that way they know that I'm going to be there for them. And so that way they can see me on FaceTime. Um, wrestling. So how old you have? Let me let me see if I can get this correct because we work on a show together. You have twins, right? You have twins, right? Actually, actually, one boy and one sister. One girl, one boy, one girl. Mhm. Mm and so, how many do you have? You have two, and they're twins, right? No. Uh. -uh. They are brother and sister, so... Oh, so they're not twins? No. So they look so much alike, you guys. It's 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 insane. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Stomping Ground, this this upcoming pay-per-view. Will we see Liam Swanson at WWE Stomping Ground in June? Yeah, you will. Friday. Let's talk about next Friday. Friday, let's, Super let's Showdown. Me versus Shane McMahon. And wait till I throw the Superman punch at his face. And I can officially confirm that that match is now an ambulance match. Oh, I can't wait to shove Shane McMahon. It's not that ambulance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to sit here with one of the greatest of all time in combat sports and in sports entertainment. And also... And also, I am the law of the yard. You are the law. You are the law. Ladies and gentlemen, the law. Oh. Liam Swanson. Thank you for being here. No problem. Join us next time for a WWE.com exclusive interview right here on WWE.com. I'm Shiloh Shea. And I'm Liam Swanson. And this has been an exclusive interview on WWE.com.